Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Carson Marinin and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, it was about as good as it gets for 4th of July weekend across North Alabama today. Zero humidity, lots of sunshine, and those comfortable temperatures in the lower 80s. And we'll be a bit warmer tomorrow, but it'll still be pretty comfortable out there for any holiday plants. Outside tonight on the Way 31 Skycam Network, temperatures are really kind of all over the place depending on where you are. In the lower 70s and those higher populated areas like Huntsville and Muscle Shoals in the 60s out in the outlying areas that is 64 in Decatur and 67 in Gunnersville right now. Clean sweep across the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network. We're completely dry tomorrow. Dry for that extra day off for some of you on Monday. And then those rain chances start to creep up ever so slightly by Tuesday. If you're firing up the grill tomorrow afternoon, it's going to be warm, so stay hydrated, but really, really comfortable again because there's no humidity to speak of. 88 degrees at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Our official four Forecast high is 89 degrees, hovering in the upper 80s through around 6 o'clock tomorrow night. But all in all, absolutely gorgeous for any outdoor plans you might have. Stay hydrated and don't forget the sunscreen. That UV index is very high once again tomorrow. So if you're not wearing any sunscreen, you can get a sunburn in as little as 15 minutes on your Sunday. So you have the big cookout during the afternoon. Then you head to the fireworks show tomorrow night. Well, it's going to be just as nice. 73 degrees by 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. Staying mild with clear skies with a light easterly breeze for any of that smoke that you might see thanks to those fireworks tomorrow night. Here's future radar with those temperatures. Well, you're not going to see a whole lot on future radar. Clear skies overnight tonight. Look at these temperatures when you wake up tomorrow morning. We're used to seeing this in April or May. Forecast temperatures in many spots down to the mid 50s tomorrow morning. If you're going to be out early, let's say before 9 o'clock, well, believe it or not, you might need a light jacket early tomorrow morning. We warm up quickly, though, into the upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. Lots and lots of sunshine. Really little in the way of cloud cover once again for your Sunday. And we'll do it all over again tomorrow night. Like I I mentioned comfortable temperatures for those fireworks in the low 70s tomorrow night, mostly clear skies. Then by Monday, that humidity starts to come back in ever so slightly. We'll see more cloud cover too. Now this particular data source suggesting maybe one or two showers on Monday, but in general, I think we will stay dry. But again, those temperatures will top out near 90 into the low to mid 90s on Monday afternoon. Rain chance is pretty few and far between for the next five days. That 20% chance on Tuesday, 30% on Wednesday, and then that 50-50 shot for more widespread showers and storms by Thursday of next week. Here's the latest on Tropical Storm Elsa. Really no major changes from our earlier newscast tonight. 65 mile per hour winds right over the Caribbean heading towards Cuba, as we just mentioned a moment ago. Like I mentioned, really not a whole lot of change with the forecast still going right through Cuba late tonight and into Monday morning as well. Notice that projected landfall just to the north of Tampa, Florida, late Tuesday night, staying as a tropical storm and also staying to the southeast of North Alabama as it heads towards the Carolinas. Again, I'm not expecting direct impacts from Elsa here at home, but we'll see more humidity next week. That'll give us the chance for at least more widespread showers and storms as we go through Tuesday on through the rest of next weekend. But until then, enjoy the sunshine and comfortable temperatures tomorrow. 89 for your 4th of July.